I'm Fee. Welcome to the Backlog Quest. Today's book is something that I picked up just because I thought the cover was pretty and it was in my price range for a purchase made just because of the cover. And that book is First We Make the Beast Beautiful, A New Story About Anxiety by Sarah Wilson. This book is a biography about Sarah Wilson's life dealing with anxiety, depression and bipolar. While this covers her other mental health problems that she's had over the years, her main focus is her anxiety. She goes through how her anxiety has affected her in the past, what she's done to attempt to deal with her problems, and how she deals with them now. She'd just up and drop everything and go to the other side of the world for a change, or pick up an ambitious project and change to another ambitious project just like that. Jumping from one thing to another, traveling all to all these different countries, and now she has a successful business that she runs herself. If you've not heard of Sarah Wilson before, she is the author of I Quit Sugar, something that I didn't know before purchasing this book. And as I read her book, I came to realize that I had seen her in more places over the years than I thought I had. She's been on Australian TV. She used to work for Cosmo in Australia, a magazine for teenagers. And I was a teenager at the time she was still working for them. She's done a lot with her life, despite having anxiety or because of anxiety in her case. She worked out how to channel her anxious behavior to work the most productively. I found parts of Sarah's books easy to relate to. While I've never been diagnosed with anxiety, I get rather anxious, especially when I'm around too many people. I don't like people looking at me. I don't like them taking photos of me. I don't like them filming me. And it's part of the reason I haven't been able to film myself on camera for this YouTube channel. While I don't think that this book is for everyone, I myself enjoyed reading this book. I like reading books about other people and how they deal with their own problems and how I might relate to them. And because I found something in this book I was able to relate to, I enjoyed it. But it's something that I can see other people not enjoying, but I can't exactly explain why I don't think they'd enjoy it. I just, it's, it's something I'm working on. But with this book completed, it brings my total of backlog items up to one video series, zero movies, four books, zero games. Thank you for joining me on this book about Sarah Wilson's anxiety. See you all next time.